very pleased to be able to have Georgia Papatamos from Johnson & Johnson with us. Now, your global head of data sciences, is that across all the divisions yes, of Johnson & Johnson? Johnson & Johnson, yes, yes. Tell us why you think data sciences are so important. Data sciences is, is a completely new way of uh, thinking and um, making decisions about science, about the business, about it's, it's not simply um, a way of looking into what happened yesterday and trying to make decisions based on um, your own knowledge and expertise. You have the ability now to bring in enormous Inf data and information to be able to do predictions that go beyond the individual's knowledge and understanding. Um, it is, you know, it, I think we're entering into a new world, it's a new era. We are talking about AI and there's a number of technologies that are under that umbrella of AI, from machine learning to natural language processing and deep learning. And I think we're, we're getting to a stage where AI is possible. Because AI, we know, is not a new science. It's been around from the 50s. Um, what is making, what's making it real is the fact that there are some other technologies around, from cloud computing to high-performance computing to mobility uh, and the internet. That are making the tremendous amount of data available and also gives you the computational power to do the analytics. So the whole field of AI, it becomes a new engine from doing research to running your operations. The time is obviously right for AI. You've got the technologies like high-speed computing, you've got the need because of uh, the unaffordability of healthcare that's coming for the future. But what are the challenges that face AI? There are a large number of challenges. Some of them are very easy to address, or at least easier to address, and some of them are gonna be much more difficult and fundamental. So the, the first obvious one is data. Uh, there is an enormous amount of data that is, um, that's been generated but it's not easily accessible. And so the need to have better standards, we're seeing now a large number of collaborations and consortia realizing that people need to work together um, to, to take advantage of this data um, because there's a lot of information, especially in unstructured data. Um, and um, the, the next, challenge is really um, finding, uh, having a critical mass of true data scientists. And um, because it's an interdisciplinary skill. Um, and uh, it's a new era where you need to have the scientific knowledge and the technical knowledge and, and the same person so today we're bringing teams together who share that knowledge. Eventually, I think uh, you're going to see true data scientists who not only have the deep um, knowledge, the, the domain knowledge that's required to write, to ask the right questions and make the right hypothesis, who know what is the relevant data uh, to that hypothesis or that uh, scientific question, but also understand the technology to know what is the right model. Um, so, but when we, as we move in, I think the most difficult part of making AI or, or realizing the true potential of AI is the change um, that has to happen, both with scientists and business people, shifting from relying on their own personal skills, knowledge, expertise, and, and intuition to make decisions and trust information that's coming out of a computer. 
How do events like this help? Events like this, I mean, um, they're essential to bring in people together to have to create a holistic view of how people are thinking, what, what they're doing. It's almost like, you know, we are working, we're looking at this elephant from, a, from different perspectives and uh, we're doing different things, but I don't think we, we have a, a complete view of all the activities and, and how every entity within healthcare is addressing AI, is applying AI. So there are events like this that give you an opportunity to connect the dots and, and learn. So it's extremely valuable. Thank you so much.